Hey everyone, Jamie Pate here, and am I just thrilled to be a part of the holiday inspiration series here for scrapbook.com. I'm so excited to share with you um, my first couple of pages in my Christmas December album. Yes, I have a title page I want to share with you today, and then I want to share with you something that always goes into the first day of every December album I've ever done. And then I want to show you all the wonderful goodies from scrapbook.com that are working perfectly in my December album this year. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, I'm going to need a couple things to get this title page going. First are these alphabet dies, festive numbers, and then the block outline Christmas word dies as well are going to be utilized. I will be placing all of this on a piece of vellum as my page. And the Vicki Booten Warm Wishes is primarily going to be what kind of starts this album off. And as well, I'm going to need a just piece of scrap paper. Or if you wanted to use pattern paper for some of your die cuts, go for that. And just some basic things like a trimmer, an adhesive, scissors, and a hole punch. Let's go. Now, when I am going to create what I call an out of the pocket page protector page, I like to use a pocket page protector to give me guidance for what size paper I'm going to need because we need to make allowance over here for the holes, right? To be able to be punched and then added to the binder. So I'm just, I just eyeball that is all I did. I'm going to cut that down. So this is going to be my background paper now for my title page. I have already cut out my block outline word in Mary. You also have these great negative pieces that are from the inside. So save those with your stash. You might be wanting to use those at another time. So you know how it's a crafter's prerogative to change their mind? Well, that's exactly what I did with my numbers. First, I adhered the Mary with some of the scrapbook.com smart glue, and I had that in place, and then I was able to know where my numbers were going to go. I was going to use cardstock, but I decided against it, and I used a real subtle pattern from Warm Wishes to instead craft my numbers. And then I decided, well, let's give them a little bit of height and texture. So I added the 1 8 inch foam adhesive to the back. And now I'm just going to place them right under the Mary and I spread them out so that it went the whole length of the Mary. And I'm pretty happy how my title page has now turned out for my December album. Now, the final thing I'm going to need to do to get it ready for my album is I grab one of the page protectors again and I line it up so that I know exactly where my holes are going to go. And you can do one or two things. You can just take your hole punch and go right in there and punch it right at the opening. Or you can make a mark so that you don't then inadvertently cut a additional hole in your page protector. So just two ways you can do that easy way to prep your page for your December album. For day one in my December album, I always like to start with my family's photo from that year. So I have grabbed that. I'm going to create another out of the page protector page. So I've also grabbed some cardstock that I've already cut down to be eight inches tall, but we'll get right back to that in a moment. Because of this interactive piece, I know that my photo is going to actually flip open and be exposed on the other side. With that in mind, I want to go ahead and add some pattern paper to the back of my photo. All right, so that is done and I can set my photo aside for a moment. As I said earlier, I have my now eight by 12 inch piece of paper. Now remembering that I need to leave an allowance for the holes for the ring binders, I'm gonna come in here at seven inches and create a score line so that I can fold this. When it's inside the album, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that. Then I'm going to cut my fold down some, probably make this about three inches this way. So the crease is going to go, the fold is going to go at three inches. Just trim the rest of that away. And so that is basically what my page is going to look like now for day one. But a couple other things I'm going to add into this page will be these tabs, one shape dies. 
the festive numbers again because I need it for day one, right? And then they're a little bit of a hot mess, <laughs> but you get the idea. It's the nested circles. They're these fancy border circles. And I'm going to use this with my number as well. Okay, what I just finished up there was adding a little bit of pattern paper to my interactive flap. And my photo is going to be applied to about right there. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball a couple things here real quick. I've gone ahead and cut out a circle border out of this tag here. So really pretty circle die cut there with a bit of a border. I'm going to back it with some vellum. So when it's sitting on here like this, my number that I've already cut out from the festive numbers is just gonna sit right there like that. So taking the smart glue, you really do not need a lot of this at all. And just kind of have a little bit at the tip and sort of drag it around your delicate cuts until you just have a little bit of adhesive everywhere. Layer that, I cut the vellum out with a two inch punch. So it's gonna hang over just a little bit and I'm okay with that. Then we're gonna find that this goes there and then the number goes there. And then I'm gonna bring in some die cuts of some leaves over here. Another favorite die that I am using and reaching for quite often right now are the Spriggs shape dies. I think they're seasonless. I think you'll find you can use these every season of the year. So I cut one of them here. I think it's just really beautiful and ethereal and is going to work great on this page. So what I've done is I have used a 1 8 inch foam to pop up my number and I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to grab the 1 8 inch adhesive and this is how I'm going to hide the adhesive here on the back of this vellum so you can't see how it's adhered to the page. Right where that number is, I'm going to come along right behind it. I need to trim a little bit of the excess off. We are going to be able to hide this right here on where the pattern paper is. Just gently press that down. So now you have your number in place and look great. And then I'm going to bring this in here with a little bit of the smart glue and a little bit's going to go a long way and then adhere it right there by the one. Give that a moment to dry. But as you can see, it does make for a really beautiful page. And now we have the inside of this page to work with. Wrapping up the inside of this flap here, I've grabbed this cutaway page from Warm Wishes. Great tags, great lines of phrases and words, and just great borders. And so you can see here, I've already cut out this tag and have embellished it a little bit with some twine. I'm going to take the word Fetty stamp. This is one of my most favorite stamp sets. And I'm going to grab the documented that's in here. Just going to add the word documented here to this tag because I think that's appropriate. It's December documented. And so remember to have fun adding stamps to even pre-made tags or embellishments or whatnot. Sky's the limit, right? So that's what that looks like. And then I'm going to add it right inside of this part of the flap. Grab a bit of adhesive here. This adhesive is so strong. I just need a little bit. I don't like my pieces to be completely flat anyway, so I'm just going to kind of hit it there. It'd be a great place to add a little bit of journaling, probably some journaling about that photo there that I have on the other side. Then I've taken some of the other word strips. I'm going to cut them down. Little V notches gives them a little bit more of a customized vibe. I also like to take the edge of a ruler and just go along the edges and distress it. And I am sure there are some great distress tools out there. This is just one of the ways I go about this. And just gives a little bit of lift and a little bit of fun when you add it to a page. I'm going to see what this looks like. This is another off cut. I might even do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me see how this looks along here. Yep, I kind of like that. That's kind of fun, a little random. I keep moving my whole entire page. And so then do the same thing. I'm going to come in here and V-notch the bottom. 
Then I will rough up the edges a bit. And then I have one more little piece I think I want to add here. And then I think I want to come take this guy and add him in there like that. What I actually did is I stapled it all together with a little bit of twine and I'm just going to attach it right up here. It's still going to have a little bit of lift to it and I like how that looks. On this portion of my interactive piece is where I'm going to journal the why of this December album. And I also cut up with the tabs die. I punched several tabs and I think kind of based on the color I just wanted to add one more in here and I think I want to kind of snuggle it up here and I'm going to reach in there with oops let me get that in the right place here so I probably should have put this on here before but you know <laughs> remember my prerogative a crafter's prerogative is to change their mind so I'm just gonna reach in here as best I can Yes, she got it. All right, so that's my page at this point. I've grabbed the Christmas Expressions stamps. I have family already here on my stamp block. I am going to add one more last embellishment. It's a stamped family down here, and now it's gonna be on this textured paper. So it might not go through as well as I would like it to. I might just have to go over some of the lines with the fine black pen. I'm okay with that. Ah, but that turned out pretty good. All right, so that is my interactive page. Now what has to happen is I'm gonna grab a page protector again, lay it on top of my page and make marks so I can hole punch. I'm gonna use the one quarter inch. I like that for this binder. And make sure I don't get my picture here. I just wanna get the background. And so I already have in place here my vellum title page. So now we're gonna add this in. And that's how that's gonna look when you first come across this album and then you open it up and you have this great page that is interactive and opens up this way with some space here for journaling, a little bit of embellishment, and then a full page here to type out a lot of journaling. So that is how I am initially adding to this December album. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you gained some inspiration here today. Have a wonderful holiday and thank you so much for watching.